Hi guys, welcome to another video from Overbike Gaming, and today we're taking a look at Full Throttle. Yes, it is kind of a retro review. Full Throttle came out, I believe, in 95, and I had it when it came out originally um, in a white box, I think, so I might have got a re-release, in fairness. Uh, but I lent it to somebody and never got it back, so boo. Uh, but yay! Double Fine went ahead and remastered it, and that is what you're looking at now. I haven't used the original graphics, yeah, I have used the remastered graphics. This place is just because it's only. widescreen, uh, the original's in 4x3. You can switch between them on the fly, but I just think it makes for a nicer video if I use the remake. So, what is Full Throttle? Full Throttle is a game. Well done, you! <laughs> it's developed by LucasArts, and it's it was around the, the time they were doing the Scum games, although they've kind of kind of neutered that down a little bit, and we'll get on to that. Uh, the lead character is Ben. Ben Throttle, I believe, is his last name. Hence, Full Throttle. That's a bit in the face calling him Ben Throttle, but uh, there you go. <laughs> and uh, he's the leader of a motorcycle gang called the Polecats. Yes. So ben things? Throttle, he making bikers cool before Sam Crow was ever a thing. Imagine that. So, it, I told you to wait out in it the basically limo, boils Ripper. down to you you and your biker gang get framed for murdering uh, a, yes. a motor industry yeah. mogul that is the last manufacturer of motorcycles in the US, Mr. and his Corley, dastardly Corley, murderer and usurper is called Rip Burger, wonderfully voiced by Mark Hamill, Mark Hamill playing a villain, who would have thunk it, never mind. Not interested. And uh, it's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. He wants to make minivans. Minivans! God damn it. Something's just not, not shouldn't be fucked with. You can't fuck with myself. Burger, that I mean, that is the only thing I've Hold ever on considered there, learning to ride. I can't, I don't have a license, don't drive, don't know how. Uh, but Excellent there's always been this idea. bit in the back of my head going, I want to learn how to ride a motorcycle. Because it's cool. Way cooler than stupid cars. And the doctor says I, I imagine my, my opinion may change That's should it rain. But, uh, yes. I, I was, nice I'm quite enamored by the whole sort of motorcycle, motorcycle aesthetic, well, and I'm a fat guy with a beard, so, you know, I'm, yeah. it's like peanut butter and jelly for me, right? <laughs> so, it, as I said, it's based around, it's from LucasArts, it's, it's around about the time they were doing the scum games, although they've kind of like, like boiled it down to its prime essentials, and that when you bring up the interactions, you don't have like, take or pick up or use at the bottom of the screen and then click on the screen screen after you've clicked on what you want to do, uh, you hold the button and it pops up with Ben's Motorcycle Club logo and you can go over and so like the eyes of the skull will look at something and the tongue will talk to things and you know stuff like that. Also it's like a fist and a, a foot for kicking and punching and knocking and you know using generally. <laughs> Right click and will bring up your inventory, in which case you left clicked on something That's in there and then sure. it goes away and you get the icon of whatever it is and you click on it on the screen. You know, it's, it's, it's an adventure game. It is one of the earlier ones. I believe it was the first LucasArts game to come out only on CD, which is a bit of a bit of a jump. And it did have some full motion video in it. Uh, which is just cutscenes, basically. Uh, and they used the tech from Rebel Assault 2 in order to put in uh, some, some of the sort of the vehicles, like really noticeable on, like, um, Corley's limousine at the start, stuff like that. The story is pretty good. It is a short game. Um, you can finish it in about four hours, which isn't very long. I mean, I think... Once you know what you're doing, you can finish it in four. Uh, if, you, if you're flapping around trying to work out how, how to do something, then obviously it'll take you a bit longer. I think the original uh, game was completed at eight, but according to Xbox, that uh, you can expect to finish it in four nowadays for the remastered. There's no cut content, it just... I don't know, maybe we're getting smarter, I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> well, I'm not, but uh, you know, the people that were born after me, maybe, maybe they're smarter than I am. So, I really love this game, man. I mean, it was always my favourite uh, LucasArts sort of adventure game. 
I, I liked, uh, probably my second favourite was Day of the Tentacle. I never really got into Sam and Max. And I didn't really, Manic Mansion was a little bit early for me. And I'd already played Day of the Tentacle. So when I did play it, I was kind of like, I'd rather play Day of the Tentacle. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much, this and Day of the Tentacle, I can remember how to complete pretty much even now. It's like I picked it back up. I'm like, oh yes. Your nose would look better on the bar, indeed. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you know what might look better on your nose? So it was, it was pretty early in my PC owning life, I'm pretty the sure. Because uh, it was around the time they were doing uh, that LucasArts me. white box, all right, all right. white ribbon labels. Or keys, maybe it was pushed by Virgin. Yeah. They had guns. Okay, they some anyway. Like you as long as possible. Well, but I remember getting a whole bunch of games from like Toys R Us for fairly cheap. I think Full Throttle was one of them. Uh, certainly, um, uh, the original Rebel Assault I got in that line as well. And I got Rebel Assault 2, which, if I could ever work out how to make it run properly, I will do a review of, because outside of the, uh, the rate of simplistic, although sometimes really irritating gameplay, um, I've got a lot to say about that game. <laughs> So, we'll see if we ever get that running. I, I shall make an effort. I do still have, like, the discs. In fact, I even have the GOG version. But uh, I still run into a lot of problems with that as well. But we'll try. We'll see what we can do for that. So, Full Throttle, if you're interested in playing a good old motorcycle-themed uh, point-and-click adventure game, you can't do any better than that. Because that's quite a speci specific niche. So, I imagine there probably aren't that many games about that. But there you go. Uh, it is on Steam for purchase at £11, I think. It's £10.99. Uh, or if you have Game Pass, it is also on there, so you may play it at just the cost of your monthly subscription. Which is lovely, and something I didn't know. Mind you, I don't think it was on Game Pass when I bought it, in fairness. I, I bought the remaster pretty much as soon as I saw it. I think that came out in... Uh, 2017, I want to say. So even the remaster is a bit of a retro review for me now. He's <laughs> six years old. But yeah, I mean, LucasArts really gave us some great games back in the day. And I think point and click is, is a bit of a genre that went away for a while. We've had a few over the, uh, the years that have come back and reinterested the pop links in like down. playing it more as an oddity I mean I was the guy that sat through the disc swapping off beneath the still sky with like 15 discs <laughs> on my Amiga that that was me in Monkey Island the first one I think I had four the second one had like 12 I think that was a lot of disc swapping man it's like even if you had two if you're lucky enough to have an external floppy disk drive as well as the internal one, it still was a lot of swapping. And some games didn't even support the second one, so you were screwed. <laughs> but, yeah, full throttle. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit cautious about doing this because uh, it does have music in it, licensed music from a band called the Gone Jackals. Oh, like and it's pretty good, and it's really iconic, and it's really heavily associated with the game, I'd say. At least if you were in the scene when uh, when the game came out, obviously. Uh, but uh, so if some of the gameplay suddenly goes quiet, it's because YouTube's got up my ass about it. Uh, obviously, if they just want to put adverts on it and pay the Gone Jackals money for me using it, I'm fine with that. But if it blocks access to any countries, then uh, I have to redo it. So yeah, um, Christ, I get as few views as it is. I can't I can't go along with sort of excluding swaths of the entire globe. Can I? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're in like three people in Finland uh, may constitute like 17% of your audience <sighs> I, I, I kind of want Finland <laughs> anyway guys that's been me talking about Full Throw wonderful game takes me back I super enjoyed replaying it it's just so good Ben is just a boss man are you? Everything he does, I was just like, that guy is excellent. Uh, they have remastered uh, the, the controls and the sound. I didn't really notice too many different controls, although I think if memory serves in the original, you could switch weapons. I didn't talk about the bike combat. I should really talk about the bike combat. Okay, so there is bike combat. You have rival gangs. I think the rock wheelers and the cavefish are the ones that you'll fight. Cavefish are quite creepy, actually. 
Marine, they, they, do, they do quite a good job. Of sort of, it's it's not a post-apocalyptic game, but you are playing in like an you alternate world that's that's more desolate. At least in, according to Tim Schafer, who is the, the, one of the writers on the then game and the designer. Yes. And I think he was the producer as well, so he was very it's heavily involved, you might say. Uh, but he was insistent that uh, uh, the guy that played Ben, his voice people. acting for Ben, uh, was just so iconic that they had to pull uh, all of the original dialogue from storage and just clean it up, basically, rather than do any re-recording or anything like that. And that is how it should be. Anyway, bike combat. Getting back on topic. One summer we did nothing but you do have when you start you have your other. fists and your, I mean, your feet so you can kick the bike shined, you're, but you're basically you're riding towards the screen there's two bikes one is you and one's so not other you you click click your mouse or right click your mouse you uh, to game. swap weapons well, and you just town. basically it, it, it's not here. particularly well, difficult it's it's just very button mashy but it is thematic and the first time you do it and Ben's like you yeah. More concerned with me than your bike. I won. And he pulls a wheelie, and then his front wheel drops off. Well, <laughs> and you're like, you "Oh shit!" <laughs> You've gone from so looking cool to, to being finished. fucked, my and friend. Well done, you. Yeah, as I say, the bike go back is great. Is you will get additional get weapons. Uh, the first fight is, you know, obviously easy, but it's just a matter of punching the guy in the face as fast as you possibly can well, and he'll fall off and you'll win I mean, and then crash the but uh anything. well the, the bike not the game uh it runs as you would expect for a 2017 game and it's a remaster of a 1995 game it runs very well indeed uh i was getting consistently 144 frames a second which is what my top end set at because that's the refresh rate of my monitor uh, so, my life. yeah, no problems yeah, there. Uh, it is available pretty trying. much edit free way. You've got it on nice uh, PlayStation, Xbox, Would want a picture of iOS, Linux, it's the way you pretty much everywhere, up like a except Android. What the fuck's going on there? Double fine. Fuck's Listen, sake. I've got to stop an ambush. Let's ambush? Really? Where? Yeah, Somewhere don't like that. Never mind. My crew is escorting some VIPs. To the <laughs> anyway, guys, that's me waffling on about full throttle, uh, reliving my childhood somewhat. I was only just not a child when uh, this came out. I, I, <laughs> I'm so yeah. old. Uh, how old would I have been? I would have been. Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. Twenty-four, right. I think. To the ambush, all right. That, that but sounds I'm about right. With our wheels at the moment. How did you get us uh, here? Wait, maybe well, no, maybe sixteen. No, all maybe fourteen. Right, I, drive safe now. I can't do that. Fuck it. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you later. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you.